plotting against King Abdullah of Jordan, and here's why. As reported in Haaretz's Israeli newspaper, the Israeli right government has some interesting plans. These include terminating the Israeli-Jordanian peace treaty because it recognizes Jordan's custody of Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, an important Islamic site. So by revoking the treaty and removing Jordan's control over the mosque, Israel would then be free to demolish it and build a Jewish temple in its place. That's the Zionist plan. But King Abdullah is in the way. As custodian of those sites, do you believe the status quo and your role is threatened? Um, if uh, people want to get into a, a conflict uh, with us, we're, we're, we're quite prepared. I, I always like to believe that let's look at the glass half full, um, but we have certain red lines. Another part of the plan is to ethnically cleanse current day Palestine by expelling Palestinians from Gaza into Egypt and from the West Bank into Jordan, making Jordan an alternative homeland for them. And once these two territories are ethnically cleansed, Israel plans to annex them and eventually expand across the Middle East. Today, I am announcing my intention to apply Israeli sovereignty to the Jordan Valley and the Northern Dead Sea. I mean, it all makes so much sense now. The war on Gaza is this plan in motion. Displaced Palestinians take over their land. The Israeli military will maintain control of Gaza. But King Abdullah has been in the way at every turn. That is a red line.